Look at that, look at that, hey. Put your arms on me, put your faith in me, put your love on me What you need from me, need your love on me Hey guys, in case my eyes are looking a bit swollen, I'm sorry, I had a long night last night. But back to this video, um, so I did get some products from Nuban Beauty as PR. I got their setting powder, their glow um, powder as well, their highlight powder, their primers, the hydrating and the mattifying one, their lip glosses as well as their foundation. So in this video, we're going to be doing a full face using just Nuban Beauty product. You guys already know the drill. Anytime foundation is involved, I always wear an off shoulder just so I can get into the reviews and the swatching so that you guys can really see what the shades look like on my skin and use that as a reference for you if that's something you're looking out for. So in here, they sent me four shades in the normal size. I want to start off by swatching this before I go in with any skin product or whatever. So my face is literally straight out of the shower. Yes, believe it or not. I think I want to come closer. Or do I? Should I come closer? Yes, yeah, so definitely this looks a lot better. This looks like unusual foundation swatches so this is what the bottle comes in there we have um 40 ml that is actually a lot typically you get 30 ml in your normal foundation bottle but with this you get 10 ml more so that's a good thing it comes in a plasticky rubbery um packaging amazing the normal nuban beauty swirl logo it comes in like this um little dropper it's a good thing it's a bad thing for me i i really don't fancy this just because i'm someone who is usually like on the go i'm pretty much like an everyday girl i'm not a makeup artist so i want something that i can easily measure and that i just know that i need two pumps but with this you kind of have to be very careful because i'm someone who you know when you're squeezing something out and it doesn't come out and something behind you is telling you squeeze a little bit more so it comes out and then you literally squeeze and everything comes out that's what can happen with this so be really careful when pouring out the product so let me go ahead to swatch all the shades you guys know the drill i'm going to start from lightest to darkest like this and also swatch on my face in case you guys are using my face or my chest whatever you want to use it's your choice let's get started with this in case my hands are ashy or they're not really so this is um, shade l1 mary slesso that's the shade l2 ah! see what i was talking about like you really have to be careful not to dispense a lot of products l3 that is um this is l4 that is l4 actually w5 mo abodu so um next up is w6 this one is looking quite orange so w7 that is w8 w9 I love so we have nine shades currently on my face we've gone through half of the swatching I don't know which one I'm going to pick I feel like it's so difficult but now I have to wipe this one off my face so this is what it looks like from one two nine okay so moving on to shade number ten So shade number 11, shade number 12, that is a beautiful shade, shade number 13, there, oh sheesh, that shade is, look at that, mm, beautiful, I might even use that shade to bronze, so rich, so rich. So shade number 14 is not here. I'm gonna move on to the next shade, right? That is shade 15. So beautiful. Shade 16. All right, so there we go. That's what 16 looks like. 
and the last shade and obviously the darkest shade shade number 17 so this is what shades <laughs> I look like a hot mess but this is what shades um, 10 down to 17 looks like excluding um, shade 14 because it's not included here but these are what the entire shades from 10 on my face to 17 looks like Okay, so this is the shade range. This is the entire um, 17 shade range except for 14. This is what it looks like. Honestly, I love the gradients. I love it. Shades 1, L1 to D17. Look at that. Look at that. It's so beautiful. So it's weird because this shade disappears on my skin. But I feel like it's going to make me look ashy so going to make me look ashy so this is shade 4 so that is shade 4 I do love the undertone but obviously you guys are seeing it it looks like it's like two shades lighter than me so let me swatch shade 5 next stop this is the one that I feel like is the closest to my skin but when I blend it out, I know it's going to make me look really ashy. But let me swatch shade 7. This is definitely orange. Oh, this is so hard. So I'm going to mix W5 with um, a little bit of W8, just a drop of W8. Now this is 5 and 8, just to see. Okay, so now I'm seeing a little bit of grey. I'm seeing it look a little bit ashy. Blend it out properly. So this is what my face is looking like now. I feel like just because I put that L5 shade, I'm looking a bit ashy. Yeah, so I went ahead to just wipe the foundation entirely. I'm going to be using the Neutrogena Hydrogel Boost Cream. Amazing, so now I'm glowing. So moving on, I'm going to be trying out the hydrating as well as mattifying primers um, so if you're someone who has a dry skin definitely go for the hydrating one if you're someone who has an oily skin you have the mattifying one um, let me just put them on my hand so the hydrating one has like a moisturizer kind of consistency and look and let me swatch the mattifying one obviously it has like a silicone type of look over here so what I want to do is because I do have a dry skin I'm going to go in with the hydrating one but then focus the mattifying one just around this area so that way we're putting all of this product to actual use so I'm gonna go in with seven just to play safe I feel like it might be too dark but we're going to be using this shade so this foundation is definitely not full coverage it's more of like a medium or like a light coverage foundation because I'm still seeing like my dark spots come through guys so I'm noticing something with this foundation and that's the fact that it oxidized I don't know if you guys can see that this side is the first um, drop I put it's a bit red it's a bit darker well this one that i just put freshly it's like a shade lighter than that one so that's something to really take note of it does oxidize it does oxidize so so this is what the shade looks like shade number seven and this is what my face looks like without the foundation it's a bit too warm but definitely a shade that i can work with not bad so i'm just gonna do the same thing 
all over my face i'm thinking i might just use the foundation to highlight as well as contour just so i can see how the foundation really performs overall on my face using the shade w13 just to bronze up the perinata of my face to bring warmth to it which you guys can see I don't know how this foundation is going to perform underneath the eyes so I'm not going to use a lot underneath my eyes just a little bit now something that I'm noticing with this foundation is that it's not it doesn't it's not like it's not a matte foundation so it does give room for you to blend it out i'm noticing that i can still blend out foundation here which personally for me i love i love a dewy foundation i love a flexible foundation and that's what i'm getting here i hate foundations where when you know when you put the foundation down and then you want to blend it and instantly it dries up it's patchy this one you can literally blend for hours and it's still going to move hopefully i want to see how long it stays before it starts drying up so i'm gonna go in with the in my skin concealer in the shade 043 okay so this is what my face is looking like right now so while that is settling in i'm gonna go in with their setting powder now they did send me three shades let me just show you guys what they look like i think i'm going to be using mustard just because i love the or the yellow tint Okay guys, so I definitely love the undertone of this shade, but what I'm going to do is that I'm going to mix that a little bit with the Alabasta shade. Let me just do that here and just set that. Yeah, that's it. So this for me is the perfect tint. So I want to go off camera and do my brows then come back and really play with the eyeshadow palette. Hey guys, so I have my eyebrows situated. They are in order, hopefully, I think. So what I want to do is I want to just prime my lids because we're going to be working with the eyeshadow right now. I'm going to also be using the concealer, just a little bit of it. All right, so for my eyeshadow, I'm going to be using the Wishes palette from Nuban Beauty. Let me just open this up. This is what it looks like inside. It is an 18 pan eyeshadow. It does have a mirror inside, so it's going to be good for like on the go um, travel as well. And I feel like with this palette, I see myself transitioning from an everyday look using something very neutral like this brown here and this one here and this orange here down to something very bright and vibrant also down to something very colorful as well as glam on the same side because i do see bronze and all of that so this is this can be an all-inclusive palette actually so what I want to do is, I don't know what I want to do, but I think I want to just dabble in all of the shades, if not most of the shades. Okay, okay, okay. Let me just... So for my first shade, it's going to be like a swatching and playing around with the shades and seeing what it looks like. I'm going to go in with this brown shade just because I feel like it's going to be a very beautiful um, transition shade. There are no names to this. So you just have to believe me when I call the colors. <laughs> so I'm going to use that shade on my crease. First, let's just see the hair. Um, wait. Okay, so it is showing up now. Or it's not showing up as well as... Okay, let me change my brush. Let me see this one. I feel like this one, yeah. This one definitely packs a lot more product. So definitely. Yeah. 
this is what the shade looks like. I feel like it's really not... Did I mix it? Wait, this is the shade I'm using though. This brown shade, but it's showing like... I feel like I mixed it, did I? So that's what that shade looks like. Let me just do the same thing here to see if I actually mixed it. No, I didn't mix it. No, it's in me. I need a different brush. So we're just going to blend that out. So let me use a different shade. Let me get a different brush. Or oh, let me use the same brush because why not? Um, let me go in with this orange shade and then go in with this one just to see what it looks like as well. Oh, I feel like, could it be my concealer that is changing the shades? Let me just use that. Oh, I love this one. Yes. This one is showing up right on time. Let me just blend the shade out as well. I'm gonna go in with this other shade right here just to deepen it up a bit and then blend it out. So I'm gonna just go ahead to deepen my crease using this brown shade. Hopefully it doesn't turn out to be something that is not brown. So I'm gonna put that shade right here. I am getting a lot of fallout with this. I feel like it's getting a little bit patchy. That shit isn't working for me, I swear. Wait, I need to cover that patch up with something because it's not looking cute. Let me go back and with this shade. I feel like this shade really performed well. Yeah, this shade is not patchy. This shade is amazing actually. That's the shade here. But the brown is quite patchy. This shade just blends beautifully. Can you see how it just covered up that patch? The brown one is just not blending out right. Hmm. You can see the patch of that brown shade. Can we see? Oh, something's telling me to just start all over again. Something else is like, girl, make it work. Okay, so you know what? Let me just leave that right there. I'm gonna go ahead to just cut my crease using the same concealer. Okay, so now I have my crease cut. So I'm gonna go in with this orange looking shade just in between right here and blend it out a little bit more. So for my leads, I think I want to try out the shimmer shade. So I'm gonna go in with this. Let me try this one. So I'm gonna be using this shade just on top of this one, just to see what it looks like. And honestly, that just looks so pretty. Ahead to pop on a pair of lashes. So I'm gonna do the same thing I did on my crease on my bottom lash line and just apply those colors. Hey guys, so this is what we're looking like right now. I still have my 
um, baking powder, my setting powder and you need my eyes. So right now I want to start swatching all the lip gloss shades that he sent. He sent me three shades so I do want to swatch everything so you guys can see them on my lips. <laughs> but let me just swatch tinsel. Okay so the next shade is bow and I'm just going to pop that on here. So the next shade is Daisy. And the last shade is Slay. So I'm just going to dust off the excess powder underneath my eyes. It is dusting off easily, which is a good thing. So moving on, the last product we're going to be playing around with is the D Glow Loose Highlighter. This is in the shade Accolade. Ooh, a little bit of a swatch here so you guys can see what the shade looks like. Let me pop that on the high points of my face areas that I do want to highlight. I love. All right, so I'm going to be using the Nuban Beauty Silit Spray to just set my entire face and melt that powder in. Hey my loves, so this is the finished look. This is what it currently looks like right now. So let me know what your thoughts are down in the comment section. This is what we're looking like right now. Um, yeah, this is it. This is. I'm definitely loving the dewiness. I don't know if I like the lip shade, because I do like my nude lip shade. Let me know what your thoughts are down in the comment section regarding this entire look and um, that is about it for this video if you guys enjoyed this video let me know down in the comment section give me a thumbs up like subscribe share with any and everyone i'll definitely see you guys in my next video till then make sure you stay fabulous and stay blessed check out my other videos right here if you guys are interested in makeup you enjoy this one as well as this one also subscribe it is free it is fun it is amazing here it is also beautiful slayed and yeah i'll see you guys in my other video and yeah, let's go.